All right, so before we get started, I want to let you know you can get the project files for this lesson by simply clicking the download link in the description below. And I'm also inviting you to join my Telegram community. I'll teach you how to make beats, mix, master, record, and so much more. In fact, I have free monthly masterclass in my Telegram community. So if you're interested in that, you can simply click the link in the description below. All you need is Telegram app, and you have instant access to my Telegram community. All right, then, time for today's lesson. Let's go. When creating drum tracks for Afrobeat, it's very important you pick high quality drum elements from your kick, your snare to your percussion, shaker and more. Make sure they are all high quality, they do not sound overly compressed or dull. And this can even affect the vibe of your beats. So now let me show you how to select high quality drum samples. So when picking Afrobeat drum samples, the two things you should know or have in the back of your mind is quality and the vibe. So I'm going to be using from two kits because I trust the quality so much. Well, most of the kits I use, or rather all the quality kits I use are quality sound because I also produce professionally. So let's come to my pack. So I'm going to be using from Uhuru and from SARS. So in Uhuru's kits, I'm going to be using mostly the kick because for um, Afro beats, you need the kick to be soft and round most times so that you can just have that, that feeling, that is that infectious dancing feeling you get. So then we're going to pick out some percussions. But this will get from SARS this time. Um, let's see, SARS, drums, yes, then one shot. We don't need much percussion, just a little. Let's start from the top. Okay, I like that. Like this vibe. I like that vibe too. All right now, um, for Afrobeat these days, the rim shot is used as snare in most songs these days. So I'm going to use this. I prefer the other one. So let's add hi hats just for flavor. We may use it, we may not use it, but just for flavor. All right. So this is how you pick your drum sample. You have to make sure the kick is soft and round. Make sure your percussions do not have long sustain. They are short and sharp as well, so that it can have space to really bounce. And then you can add maybe one or two weird elements like hi hats or just something totally random. You can even change the vibe. Depends. You never know. All right. Now let's move on to making the um, beats. All right, so now we're done picking up high quality drum samples and the next important thing is to create drum tracks out of this. So let me show you how you can create a great drum track that everybody can dance to with these samples you just selected. All right, so we'll set the tempo. Let's try one, let's try 100. And then we'll leave the kick for last. Let's start with the um, rim shots to set the tone of it. We can leave our metronome on so that it will give us the vibe. So let's. So let me hum one of the common um, percussion or right, one of the drum patterns. You have have you either have ta 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 or ta 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 ta. So like if you can hum the drum pattern or when you listen to any Afrobeat song, if you can hum the drum pattern. Do not even try to recreate it. It should be so simple that you can hum it. Like for example, if you ka, this ka, this ka, you understand? Like you should be able to hum it easily. So if you can hum it, then you can create like this is for kick. Then ka is for like the rim shots or the snare or clap, whatever you want to use there or percussion. So I'm going to do like ta 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 something like that. I'm going to double this, like I want to divide to change later on. I'm going to extend it to eight bars, or rather four bars. 
Sorry, two bars. This is two bars, not four bars. Yeah. If I just copy it, let's see. Yeah. All right, so now I've gotten that. Let's add some percussions. We can layer it or just copy it. Then I can take some out. So that can also affect the vibe. Then let me turn off the metronome now. Keep it simple. Yeah. I think that's fine. Then now we'll add our kick. Then let's do something interesting with the kick. Yeah, I think that sounds good. So now let's add the hi-hats. I want to show you a feature you can use to make your drums even more interesting. This swing feature here, you can swing it. So let's see. Let's add this. Just the volume. Then we can have this increase the volume. So you can see I started, I started with the kick, then I created the um, rim shots. Sorry, I started with the rim shots, and I started, then I went to the kick, because that's what I was going to like direct the vibe. Then I started adding a little bit of percussions everywhere. You can see I just added a little bit. Nothing crazy is going on here. And now we're going to add shaker. Yes, this although not all Afrobeat needs shaker, but this sounds like it needs shaker. Let's go to Jeb Josh. Can you look for Jeb Josh on YouTube? His shaker loops are for free. I think I like this shaker loop. I'll just drag it right here. And it already fits to time. Then I'll listen. Come to my song mode. You can see even with the shaker, the high hat is also making it sound interesting. One of the most overlooked parts in creating drums is the addition of effects. Adding effects can even make your drums sound much more interesting. Most likely to be using compression or may add other effects like maybe EQ or reverb to just spice it up, but it's mostly about compression because compression will make your drums smack even harder. And I'll show you how to do it right now. To add effects, we'll just select all of this. I link it to the mixer, Control Shift L, and it's all linked. 
So when, when I going to do anything like mixing or any, anything serious, you are just trying to make it smack. So we're going to create a sub mix. And we'll just name it drums. Then we're going to use a compressor. We're going to use a third party compressor. Let's use Cronchesso. You can use from waves, just any compressor that will add warmth and coloration to your um, drums. Let's see. Let's drum snap. Hmm. You can see how clicky it is already. Let me turn it off. Then with it. We need to do a little bit of gain stage because the hi hat is now very the hi hat and the shaker is not very loud. And then the layered sound. We just do a couple of gain stage in here and there. see how punchy it is already then you can come to your drum master and add this EQ to just solve some small problems here and there you can see how sharp the kick especially is now the kick is really punchy and groovy so let's add reverb to this guy right here reverb let's see always be using the stock reverb plugin we'll turn it down a little reduce the wet and increase the decay Don't want it to sound too out of place, so the delay, the, the reverb effect itself is very minimal, about nine percent. Then I can adjust this. Just to give it a different vibe. And you can see the difference. Let me turn off this again. See how it sounds versus this. So this is why it's important to use compression on your drums. So try and add a little bit of effect here and there, light effects, nothing too heavy on your drums. Now that our drums are sounding great, let's add a random melody loop to see how it sounds. We're not going to create a full beat just to add the melody loop and just get the vibe and feel of the song. Let's pick up a random melody loop. Like I said, you can get the project file in the description below. You can also join our Telegram community by simply clicking the link in the description below as well. All right, so let's add a random melody loop. Let's use this loop and then with this thing to see how it sounds. Alright, so if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that people that really need this tutorial can easily find us here on YouTube. And also when you subscribe, you get daily updates from my content because I upload helpful videos every day on YouTube. See you soon. Cheers.